Hello, I'm Leo Maris Reyes, Microsoft MVP for 40 years in a row, and today I want to give you the welcome to the .NET MAUI challenges. But um, what's that? How does it work? These are different types of challenges in which we will be exploring about .NET MAUI topics. This will be launching periodically, and the most important goal of that is that you will be able to continue practice and continue growing up in your .NET MAUI career. So join with us and let's continue learning about .NET MAUI. But what about the challenge structure? Each one of the challenge has exactly the same structure. This one is composed by three important points that you have to keep in mind. The first one is the statement of the challenge. You will always see an image which will be giving you a description of what the challenge expects from you. And also, you will be able to see three possible options about your challenge, but you only have to select one. The second point is the solution. In each challenge, you will have the option that solves this one. It will be hidden so that I recommend you first to analyze it and then click it to see the current answer with its respective explanation. And finally, the static resource. Once you see the current answer, each challenge solution will be having an static resource so you can delve into it and continue studying about this topic. For this challenge, we will be exploring the grid. If you have to use a grid to achieve this structure, what will be a possible way to do it? Pay attention to the image that we have in this challenge and let's start analyzing all the possible answers. But first of all, note that in each one of them, you have a grid declared and all the values for rows and columns are defined as a proportional value. So let's start with the first option. Here we have two row defined and five column defined. For the second one, we have five row defined and two column defined. And for the last one, we have three row defined and two column defined. So what is the right answer here? Return to the image and continue analyzing to know what is the right one. So take some minutes and I will be waiting for you. Return with the right answer. Do you already have the answer? The right one is the option B. But why? This option indicates us that we have to define five rows and two columns. But how can I do it? How can I identify it? Let's see. Here I have been divided in a very, very graphical way how you can identify each one of the elements to be able to define your road and your grid columns. Let's start with the column. Here I have one column, as you can see here, and two columns. I don't have more elements, that's why I have to define two columns. But now let's continue with the road. I have one road, two road, three, four, and five. I don't have any more. So that's why here I have to define five road for my grid. So if you understand this basic grid structure, you will be able to add all the visual elements that you need to give life to your screen. So for the study resource, I have been recollecting different articles to continue growing up in your grid, grid structured, and UI replication skills in .NET MAUI slash summary forms. In this case, the first article is exploring the new grid structure in summary forms. First of all, remember that um, both in summary forms and in .NET MAUI, the SAML structure is exactly the same and also is the new grid structure because previously we had another largest structure to define the grid. So let's 
continue exploring this article, I will be leaving the link to CoinDeep and what's going on. And let's continue with the last one. Let's replicate a sign up in summary form or in your .NET MAUI applications. Here, I develop step by step a simple UI and I'm implementing both grid, label, image, and different visual elements that will be helping you to create amazing UI for your application. So let's continue exploring. This is the conclusion and that's all. I will be leaving you this link. Remember to continue practicing, practicing, and practice in your Tamarin and .NET MAUI skills. So see you in the next challenge. It was a pleasure for me to be here. Ciao, ciao.